Hey, I'm Carl with Apt, and we've got the Sony GTK XB7 speaker here, and it's a it, kind of a party type speaker. So if, as you can see here, it's got a couple of big drivers built in. It's got three tweeters. So it gives you uh, a, a fair range of sound. It's really designed for somebody who's looking to have a speaker that gives you a ton of bass, um, or if you're trying to fill up a big room with sound, uh, it definitely does a great job of that. It uses Sony's uh, DSEE, which is their digital sound enhancement engine. So it, it improves a, a slightly degraded signal that's being sent into it. If you're listening to music through Bluetooth um, or any any files that might not be totally, uh, just a totally high-end files being sent to it, it's gonna add information to it, make that sound a little bit better. It also uses or can play Sony's kind of form of high-end music, which is LDAC. So you have the capability of playing back some higher quality music through Sony on this speaker. Uh, Overall, it was decent sound quality. Like I said, you get a ton of bass out of this one and it does get very loud. So if you're looking for something to, to fill up the room, this is great to check out. For a real audio file, probably not the best speaker to consider, um, but it is a pretty compact size for as much sound as it puts out. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about the speaker itself here. So as you can see on the outside, like I said, you have the two big woofers and then you have three tweeters. Uh, it can be set up two different ways, either vertically like you're looking at here, or you can lay it down on its side and it can be horizontally opposed as well. And that's gonna change kind of the dynamic of the sound that's coming out of the speaker. Uh, up on the top, there's a little cutout here. And that's great because you can, you can put your phone in there, you can put your tablet in there and it'll hold it upright so you can actually look at it uh, to see what song is playing or to make any any changes to the music that you want to. Uh, also on the top, you've got your volume up and down, you've got your power button. Uh, there's a an extra bass button. If you wanted additional bass, you can press that and that's gonna enhance the bass that's coming out of the speaker. And it has the function button, which is gonna go through all, your, all the different functions that are available uh, for this speaker. Sony's also done a uh, kind of a, a party style thing here where you can link up multiple speakers to increase the sound in the room so you can get you can fill up a, a huge area with just a, a couple of these little speakers here so that's a that's a pretty cool uh, pretty cool uh, feature of this one and you can also download the Sony SongPal app so you can adjust different different uh, aspects of the music so you can adjust the equalizers it's got some different LED light configurations that you can choose. This does have a bunch of LEDs built into the front here. So while you're playing the music, you have this uh, cool light show that's going on as well, which I, th I thought was kind of neat. Uh, and you have a couple of strobe lights built in too. So it just gives you a lot of cool party, uh, party features, different aspects that uh, just make it kind of a fun speaker. You have a USB input on the back here, so you can play stuff through non-Bluetooth devices, and it does have NFC built in too, so if you have a phone or a tablet that uses NFC, all you have to do is touch to the top, and they'll link up to one another, and you'll be able to play back your music. So that's the GTK XB7. If you're looking to buy one of these or you want more information, make sure you click on the link in the description below. And as always, we appreciate you watching the videos. If you own one of these, if you are thinking about getting one, we'd love to hear your comments, your feedback, and always remember to like and subscribe on YouTube.